All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. And today, we are going to be showcasing the new crossover category team led by the Xeno Super Saiyan 4 Vegito, along with all of the heroes Super Saiyan 4 units, and also the Demon Goddess Toa, and the Awakened uh, Dark Masked King. Now, I've been using this team quite a bit over the past couple of days, and it's gotta be my favorite team in the game to run right now. Not because it's the best, because it's definitely not as good as like a stacked Kamehameha team or Realm of Gods, uh, Transformation Boost, so on and so forth, but it's just so much fun, man. I love all these units. They're all super unique and different, and uh, I just love it. Okay, so without further ado, let's jump right in here and see what these guys are all about. Uh, two of these guys actually don't have token awakenings, right? Gohan and Bardock still need awakenings, which probably won't come until next year, the next collab at the earliest, possibly two years, because sometimes it takes them a while, right? So uh, that's kind of unfortunate. But even without awakenings, they're both very impressive units, which you'll see in just a second. But uh, first rotation, we got two Vegitos, and you guys are about to see how insane Super Saiyan 4 Broly is. Okay, Super Saiyan 4 Broly actually took me by surprise because before I had a chance to use him, I heard a lot of people complaining about how bad his defense was and how his damage wasn't enough to like make up for, you know, his lack of defense and all that stuff. Like I heard a lot of hate for this unit, right? And then I had a chance to use him myself and dude, he blew my freaking face off. Okay, so yeah, first turn, 4.3 million attack. Yeah, so that, that's what Broly's all about. That's what Broly's all about. Of course, to be fair, he had 40% attack and defense from both uh, from both the Vegitos, right? So that's 80%. Um, he's not normally putting out those kinds of numbers, but even with the one Vegito, he's typically doing like, I wanna say 3.5 or so. Of course, mine's rainbowed, so keep that in mind, but not level 10 links, okay? His links are at level four slash five. So, you know, pretty, Still pretty early on in my grind, but uh, regardless, he is such a monster, and defensively, he's actually not that bad. Okay, he's only um, bad on defense when he doesn't get to super first, right? So if you put him in the first slot, and he gets hit before he has a chance to, you know, launch a super, then he's going to be super squishy. But as long as he attacks first, he's actually a pretty good tank. His defense can go up to, I think, roughly like 150k after a super attack. So just make sure that he's in the second slot, as opposed to the first slot, and he should be good to go. Okay, so um, hopefully you can actually get him to take a few attacks here, so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But yeah, defensively, I think he's actually very underrated as well. I think that most people who call him a bad defender, um, probably just like, put him in the first slot, right, in the LGE or Infinite Dragon Ball History, Super Battle Road or whatever, right, put him in the first slot, and then saw that he took like a bajillion damage and they were like, yo, this guy can't tank. And that's just straight up not true. You just gotta make sure that he is able to super first and he's he's good. I love Broly, man. I mean, I would, this might piss off a few people. It really might, but I would argue that Broly is actually more impressive of a unit than Vegito, okay? And before anybody crucifies me, <laughs> before anybody, you know, um, leaves an angry comment. Let me explain myself. Okay, Vegito is awesome. Don't get me wrong. Vegito is a fantastic unit, but his damage is not as great as I thought it would be. He does good damage. He does good. I mean, you guys saw he went up to three million. Like he's good damage, but um, it's not as high as I thought it would be. And his defense is good, but it's not amazing. He has really whoa. Something just fell. I don't know what happened, but hopefully everyone's okay. Uh, anyways, <laughs> his defense is also very good, but it's not, like, amazing either. So he's just good on offense and good on defense. The main thing that I love about him is his support, right? Like, that support, um, especially when you are running the other Super Saiyan 4s, 40% attack and defense plus 2 key, amazing, right? But outside of that, yeah, like, his own numbers, they're just good, but not, like, blowing my mind or anything like that. Broly, though, does blow my mind. Like, he is consistently putting out, like, 4 million, 3.5, 4 million additional attacks, right? Like, he has the potential to launch three supers every turn, because he gets that first super, 
and then he has a high chance to launch an additional super on his passive, and then if he has some hidden potential investment or skill orbs, then he can also launch a third super through the hidden potential system. So I've seen him actually do three super attacks with um, 4.3, 4.2 million attack stat each. So that's like 12 million attack in that turn, right? Even though that's not super common, he is actually launching two supers fairly regularly. So when you're launching two supers, that's still gonna be over 8 million attack, right? And defensively, like I said, He's not as bad as people think. He's really not. He's actually a very, very solid tank if you let him super first. So to me, to me, now that's just my opinion, um, Broly is definitely, you know, has been more impressive. Uh, if you guys have any of your own opinions or you want to dispute what I said, then feel free to say that. But of course, like I said, it's my opinion. So no need to get too upset. Okay, now let's move on to the other guys. Okay, so Gohan and Bardock. The two Super Saiyan 4s without Dokken Awakenings still hit pretty damn hard. And uh, especially Bardock. Okay, Bardock, when you're over when you're over 90% HP, which we are right now, he gets guaranteed crits for every single attack. And then when you're above 80%, it's a guaranteed um, it's an attack effective against all, right? So even though he doesn't have that awakening, he's also hitting very, very hard. And also defensively, not bad either. He's over 100,000 defense, and um, his stats too, right? Like, it's, it's everything. It's his stats, it's his passive, but his stats for a unawakened unit are actually really high. I think mine has two dupes, and he's over 14,000 attack. Rainbow status, he's over 15,000 attack, I believe, right? And then you give him a token awakening in the future, he's gonna have probably over 16,000, maybe close to 17,000 attack, and um, obviously a better passive and everything, so... Uh, I, I am like 100% sure actually that once Bardock gets a Dokken Awakening, then he is going to be better than Magito, right? But I mean, also, also it's because it's later in the future, right? It's going to be in like two years or, or at least a year or so. You know, the longer it takes for them to get Awakenings, the better they're going to be. So I'm really excited for that too. Um, I'm just in love with this whole hero setup, man. Like I, I've said before, I'm not the biggest heroes guy. I haven't played the games too much. I'm not really familiar with the card game, but just as units in Dokkan, I'm obsessed, man. I've spent over 1,300 stones on this banner, and even though I kind of wish I didn't spend as many, right? I kind of wish I didn't spend as many. I, I kind of wish I didn't go as crazy. Um, it was totally worth it because I'm just having so much fun with these these units. I'm having so much fun with this team. It's definitely like making this game more enjoyable for me recently. So. Uh, yeah, it's an awesome collab, man. Kudos, shout out to Bandai. They they definitely killed it with these units. They look awesome. They like their effects are awesome too. And uh, that's that's all I gotta say. Now let's quickly check out this defense here. Yeah, so 141,000 defense for Vegito. Very good. The friend one I think is actually um, pretty built. Oh no, okay. So his links are not that uh, are not that high, but he has some good skill orbs, level five defense. So that of course helps a ton with his defense as well. And uh, as you can see for Broly, 89,000 defense, right? But like I said, once he supers, his defense actually goes way higher. So, um, yeah, he's just, he's dope. Uh, should I use, no, you know what? I was going to give him the tech orbs for Dokken attack, but I think that would be a waste right now. So we're going to save the Dokken attack for next turn since Goku's probably dead this turn. We'll see though. Yeah, see, over 3 million. That's really good. That's That's really good, but it's not amazing right broly 4.3 with the potential to super two more times after i mean he hasn't had a chance yet because the people just keep dying too fast <laughs> i saw one um i saw one tweet someone made and they were like yo you complain about broly's defense well you know what it doesn't matter because the uh, enemy can't super you if they're dead right so <laughs> that, that that's kind of how i feel about him right now um but even if they do super us, as long as we super first. Like I said, it, sh it should be okay, because defense actually is much higher than people give him credit for. Uh, with that said, I'm a little bit worried about Bardock here. If Bardock gets supered, then we might actually... I don't know if we'll die, but we, we, we might be in trouble. Um, hmm. I mean, if Gohan gets supered, we'll be fine, because he has a lot of damage reduction. So, like, I'm really worried about Bardock. I'm not really sure if I should. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> I forgot to turn off my notifications. It's okay. Um, let's give 
these orbs to Gohan. I'll give these ones to Bardock. I am gonna have to probably use an item at some point during this run, but I don't want to do it this early. Like I wanna, I wanna, you know, save all the items until we get to UI Goku and MUI Goku. Okay, so we didn't get super there. Hopefully, what happens is um, Dark Mask King takes a hit first, and then he gets super because he gets guard after he gets hit, right? So we take a normal, and then he supers Dark Mask King, and we should be fine because he's an amazing tank after he takes the first hit. Now, if Bardock, Bardock gets super, we're probably gonna take about ooh, probably gonna take about three to four hundred k, maybe something something like that. Okay, so one hit 29. Oh, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. And Dark Mask King's about to heal us for a bit here too. Uh, 40k healing right there. Okay, perfect. Perfect! Look at that! Okay, so we took the normal for 6k, and then the second attack only did double digits. So huge difference right there. Um, Vegito's gonna be okay. I feel safe about him, so I'll just give him a few orbs. And then Broly... You know, he's gonna super first, so he'll be fine as well. So we don't have to use any items actually for for this this fight. Or MUI Goku, or not MUI, the uh, STR UI actually is the scariest since he is STR and we've got the two Vegitos. The two Vegitos are gonna get punished pretty hard. Man, Broly! What did I say? What did I say, man? MVP of this team. MVP of this team. Now, credit to Vegito, because he deserves it, since Broly wouldn't be able to put up those numbers without Vegito's links and support, right? But, I don't know. Like, if you're asking me, like, in my opinion, Vegito has just been... I mean, uh, Broly has just been more impressive of a unit, right? That's just, that's just how I feel. That's honestly just how I feel. He's definitely my favorite out of the new batch of Heroes units. No question. Um, okay, you know what, we're gonna pop an item here. I'm, I'm a little bit nervous about, about Vegito, so let's pop an Icarus. Right, we're gonna pop an Icarus. Like I said, this is not the best team in the game, by any means, not even close. Um, a really good, like, Realm of Gods team, or Transformation Boost, um, even Super Saiyans, Kamehameha, so on and so forth, like, blows this team out of the water. But it is really strong still. It's a very strong team, and just from a fun factor, from how much I'm enjoying running this team right now, I mean, I prefer using this team over those ones right now, even though those are more OP. Yeah. Man. How good is Bardock and Gohan gonna be? How good are they gonna be after their awakenings? They're already doing stuff like this. They're already putting up over 2 million, right? And Bardock's already getting the guaranteed crits and all that stuff. Like, what, what more... What more could they do for them? They're going to be putting up like over 3 million. And Bardock's still going to be getting guaranteed crits probably, right? And even with an even better HP restriction. I can't wait. I really can't wait. Alright. Um, what do we do here? So, I'm actually... There's so many attacks in the middle, man. I think I might have to put Dark Mask King over here. And, okay. So, I'm going to put Broly in the first slot. Dark Masking in the last slot. We're going to miss out on, on a lot of links, right? A lot of good links, but um, I think this is actually the safest option. Because Dark Masking is definitely the best tank on this rotation right now. So, yeah, to avoid death, which obviously would suck because we've come this far, I'm going to break up the Super Saiyan 4s. And as you can see, as, long, as soon as we lost the uh, Saiyan Roar and all that stuff, uh, this man's attack went down by quite a lot. It would have been about 3.5 if uh, we had linked them up. Okay, here's a super. Taking 130. That's not bad. That's not bad. I mean, of course, we had the Icarus active, so that's also part of it. But, you know, the way people talk about Broly, you would have expected him to take like 500,000 there. And that's just not what he is. You know, that's not what he is. He's, he's great. Okay, I, I, I've talked about Broly enough. <laughs> he actually pissed me off yesterday, though. Um, if you guys didn't know, last night I talked about this on Twitter. Um, last night, I, I was doing a toilet summon, right? I was on the toilet, and I was like, yo, people talking about toilet luck all the time and everything, so I, I'll, I'll give it a shot, you know? I'll give it a try. And, uh, you know, I, 
uh, did a multi. It was only supposed to be one multi, and that's it. And uh, I, then I blinked my eyes, and and all my stones were gone. I had like 500 stones, and they were just all gone. And I was like, what happened? And okay, I can explain to you what happened. But like, it was one of those like rage summoning moments because I, I just kept getting only the guaranteed SSR each time, right? And I was like, bro, okay, just give me another SSR. Like as, as long as I pull two SSRs in a multi, ah, man, let's dodge that one. That would've hit pretty hard. Um, as soon as I pull two SSRs in a multi, I'll be good. Okay, I will accept it and I'll move on, but it just never happened. It just they just kept giving me the guaranteed SSR every single time, and I was pretty pissed off. So then um, I spent all my stones, and I ended up coming out with a rainbow Broly and a rainbow um, Toa. So at least it worked out in a sense. I got an extra dupe for Vegito too. I have two dupes of Vegito now. Um, but then right after, oh. Actually, 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 I was curious to see how much we would have tanked that for, but... Alright, alright, that's cool. You do you, man. Um, yeah, and then right after, like for my last multi, like after my, my summoning spree, and I was like, what did I do? I decided to do another multi, and I got two SSRs finally in that last multi, and it was double Super Saiyan 4 Broly. Like, could you, have, could you imagine how pissed that was? I was... Pretty freaking upset, man. <laughs> I was pretty freaking upset. It was not cool. Um, okay, this should be good. We should we should have this. So as long as he doesn't dodge both our supers, um, we should finish him off here. Although he could actually dodge both of our supers. He could dodge both of our supers. Nope, nope, we're good. Oh, we got a notification. <laughs> okay, there we go. It worked out. It worked out. Okay, so now I'm a lot less scared of MUI Goku. Because, uh, oh, actually, you know what? I forgot about Super Saiyan 3 Broly. Uh, oof. Oof. You know, I'm a, I'm a Ghost Usher this turn. Yeah, we're going to Ghost Usher this turn. Because Super Saiyan 3 Broly, as much as, as I've hyped up his defense, this is this is still MUI Goku. Okay, <laughs> this is still MUI Goku we're talking about. He's still going to punish Broly, no matter how good his defense is. So... Ghost Usher is is definitely is the way. That, that was the smart thing to do. <sighs> okay. Let's get a nice crit here. I think uh, my Broly actually has like 23 crit. No? Alright. That's okay. Uh, let's see. Man, I hate when the attacks are this... I hate when they're this spread out. We're like... Hmm... Hmm... Are we going to be okay with an item? I mean, these two will be okay. Vegito and Gohan will be okay. But Bardock? Not too sure. Not too sure. Uh, There's three attacks. That, I mean, there's three attacks, I think, in every slot. So... I mean, how much defense do you have? 125k. We should be okay. We should be okay. Famous last words. We should be okay. <laughs> How many times have I said that and gotten killed immediately or after? Way too many. Way too many. All right, we'll see. We'll see. If if somebody gets supered, I'm praying that it's Gohan. Because okay, there we go. Okay, okay, okay. This is fine. So I'm probably gonna do about 150, maybe 200, 130. All right. Yeah, I can live with that. With no items, only taking 130k. Yeah, you see, Bardock might have died. <laughs> Bardock, Bardock might have died there. Uh, let's see. I'm going to actually put him there. And let's actually just pop in Android 8. We're going to heal a little bit. We're going to heal a little bit. And, uh, man, look at the man's defense. Look at the man's defense, 301k with the item. Uh, you know what, actually, I'm going to put him here, because with the item, I think we'll be fine. And if he supers us again, then we'll actually um, have a good chance to counter, right? We have like a 50% chance. So, yeah, let's try to get the counter here. Man, look at the drop-off in his attack, though. 
It sucks. It sucks when he's not linked with a uh, Super Saiyan 4. So we got the super where we wanted it. It just... It just wasn't um, the way... It didn't work out the way we wanted it because we didn't get that that crit. Or not crit, uh, the counter. We didn't get the counter. That's rough. That's rough. <sighs> well... It is what it is, man. It is what it is. All right, now we got Super Saiyan 3 Broly back. Um, oof. So I'm going to put Broly in the middle for sure. Uh, Gohan in the first slot, I think is okay. I mean, I want to actually keep Vegito for the damage output. And Gohan with all that defense and the damage reduction actually shouldn't have any issues so yeah we'll go we'll go with this we'll go with this let's try to get a dokkan attack soon we're getting close we're getting close um yeah as far as items go we might have to use a good amount we've already used half of them and i think i have to use at least like two more just to be safe uh <laughs> it's mainly the broly it's mainly the broly that like really really concerns me okay we're not getting supered 89 damage Perfect, perfect. And uh, yeah, I'm not worried about Gohan at all because he's got, oh crap, I smacked the mic. You guys good? Was it loud? Not bad. Um, yeah, with all that defense and the damage reduction, there's nothing to worry about. There we go, okay. Okay, so on this turn, we got Vegito here. Uh, I'm gonna have to put Dark Mask King at the end. And then for Bardock, uh, mm, Bardock's defense is, Hmm. <laughs> We're most likely gonna get super this turn, right? Because we didn't get super last turn. I'm gonna actually pop the Princess Snake. We're going to heal, obviously, but that damage reduction just makes me feel a little bit safer. A little bit. Ah, oh, crap. I messed up there. I messed up there. We could have gone a super for Dark Mask King, but I didn't um, use the orbs correctly. My mistake, guys. Yeah, UI is not gonna do anything. Nice try. Nice try. If, actually, if I didn't use an item, it would have been fine too. I was just worried that if Bardock got supered, or if Dark Mask King got supered before he got a hit, then uh, it would have actually been pretty bad. Man, what is up with UI dodging his dad? Uh, <laughs> he just doesn't want to take a beating from his dad, man. He's been dodging all the supers from Bardock specifically. Uh, ooh, okay, okay, um, we can put Broly in the middle, although, hmm, yeah, uh, Toa is still in a little bit of trouble here, so why don't we use, hmm, Toa needs another item, kind of don't want to, because we, we already used a good amount of items, but I also don't want to die so close to the end, let's just use one more Princess Snake, and that should be enough. Unless he dodges like all of our attacks, that should be enough to finish things off here. We got a token attack as well. Good timing. So, yeah, guys, I'm gonna say I'm gonna, I'm gonna call this the last turn of the video. Hopefully, because I already used more items than I should probably, and uh, some people are gonna give me some grief about that. I, I can see it in the comments, man. They're like, "Yo, tag it. Yo, why do you suck so much? Why are you using all these items? It's the legendary Goku event. It's easy." Like, what, what are you doing? <laughs> and uh, to those people, I say, yeah, you're, you're right. I, don't, I just don't want to die. <laughs> I probably could have used like half the items and just gotten away with it. But that's not the point here. We're not trying to no item or anything like that. I'm just trying to showcase, showcase this team and show you guys how monstrous it is. And especially Super Saiyan 4 Broly, man. Put some respect on my man's name. Put some respect on my man Super Saiyan 4 Broly's name. He's about to get a crit here and finish off MUI Goku himself. No, okay, well, third super, nonetheless. 12 million attack, man. 4 plus 4 plus 4, 12.3 million. There's the crit, and he's dead. There you go. There you go. Man, no question, my favorite team in the game right now, man. It is so much fun to use. It's so much fun. Super Saiyan 4s, Darkness Toa, or not Darkness Toa, um, that's the other one. Demon Goddess Toa. 
Dark Mask King, obviously a bunch of other combinations you can use, like, um, you can use like the other Awakening, like Black Mask Saiyan, and uh, Mira, and Tabora. I didn't bring Tabora honestly, because his links, like for key, are not the best, so like, when I was using, using him on this team, I was struggling to super with him sometimes, and I didn't want to link him up with um, the Toa, because I wanted her to support all the rotations, right? So, um, yeah, that's why I didn't bring Tabora. Tabora's good, though. He's just probably my least favorite out of the new units, let's be honest. But, uh, yeah, guys, there you have it. You know what? I'm, uh, I was gonna put the Vegito, like, on the screen to end off the video, but I think because this man is the freaking MVP, he deserves to be on the screen while we finish off this video. And, guys, that's it. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about the new units. And also, more importantly, okay, let's, let's try to debate this in a very civil matter, or, or a civil manner, rather. Um... If, if you had a chance to test out both Vegito and Broly, you know, at like similar dupe levels, like one dupe or no dupes, two dupes, whatever, um, if you had a chance to use both of them, which one do you think is better? Which one has impressed you more? Because to me, Broly has honestly been the more impressive of the two. Vegito's amazing though. Still love him. Just uh, gotta give the props to Broly, you know? So uh, that's my opinion, but let me know how you guys feel in the comments down below. And that's it guys, super long video, my bad, but hopefully it was fun. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.